Introductions Steel was first produced in the Middle Age, but until just over a century ago, it was being used for this structural purpose. There are many remarkable structures being constructed by using the steel elements. This demonstrates the possibility of using it as the building material for a structure. These are the reasons that steel are being selected for the constructions. This include high strength to volume ratio, wide range of possible applications, availability of many standardized parts, reliability of the material, as well as the ability to give shapes to nearly all the architectural purposes. These are the advantage of steel as the building material. For the high strength to volume ratio, for an intended stiffness and the strength, it is considered relatively light. And steel structures can be constructed at a very high speed, where the steel structures can be used directly after the installations as well as the adaptability of usage of the steel frame and it is considered sustainable and environmental friendly material as we can always recycle and reuse the used steel elements however there are some disadvantages of the steel which is always associated with the corrosion issue fire resistance and also buckling Steel is basically composed of about 98% of iron in combination with the other alloying elements such as carbon, silicon and magnesium. Such combinations alter the mechanical property of the member so that it becomes stronger in terms of the resistance to the deformations. The copper and chromium can also be added to prevent for the corrosion issues. These are some typical strength grade of the steel, which include 235, 275, 355 and 460. And the important design properties of the steel include the strength, ductility, impact resistance and weldability. Steel frame building consists of a skeleton framework which carry all the loads to which the building is subjected. The building frames are made of the separate elements which are to be joined together forming the skeleton frame for a building. These are the typical members in a steel building which include the beams girdle, tie, struts columns, truss, lattice girdle, purling, sheeting rails and also bracing. Each of these members have their own functions and are normally designed to withstand the load listed here. The beams and girders are used to sustain the lateral loads acting perpendicular to its longitudinal axis. It is designed to carry the bending and shear loops. The ties are normally used to withstand the tensile loop. The struts and the columns are meant for the compression loops. The truss and lattice girdles are the frame members carrying the lateral loops. Purlings are meant to carry roof sheetings and the sheeting rails are used to support the wall cladding and normally bracings are provided in order to resist the lateral ring loop for the stability of the structures. This is the typical process of designing a structural steel which you need to estimate the loading acting on the structure, analyze the frames members as well as the connections in order to determine the loads acting on the members. 
Next, you will need to design the elements and the connections to be able to withstand the loads acting on them. And lastly, produce the detailings to demonstrate the layout and arrangements of the designs.